What's going on, FBC Youth? Reverend Davis here. Have you ever had an assignment, uh, a task, or a job, a chore you were given to do and you just were not willing to do it? I mean, it could be because it was just too big or too overwhelming or, or too challenging or maybe you just didn't feel like doing it or you just didn't care. Well, thank God we had Saul and Barnabas as our key characters in our children's church lesson this past week because they were able to share with us and tell us with their lives what the Lord can do when you have a willing heart. So they were available to be used by the Lord. Here, let's go right to the text. I want to get right to this. Acts chapter 13. It's a great uh, part of the Bible. Acts chapter 13, uh, beginning with verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, a member of the court of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. That's it. That's the assignment that they got from the Holy Spirit. Saul and Barnabas got direct instructions from God to go to Cyprus to tell other people about Jesus. Now, check it out. They have already were doing that. They were in Antioch telling people about Jesus. In fact, Barnabas was already in Antioch, and people were coming to follow Jesus, and he said, I need some help. So Barnabas went and got Saul from Tarsus, and Saul came and joined Barnabas, and they were together for a year in Antioch telling people about the goodness of the Lord. And now God gives them a different instruction. That's what happens sometimes. God will ask you to do one thing for a little while, and then he changes and then wants you to do something else. So he was sending Saul and Barnabas down to Cyprus, and they were willing to go, willing to follow. Sometimes when we get instructions from our parents or our school, our teachers or our coaches, and it's something different from what we're used to, and we're, we resist it, we push back, or if it's a chore, uh, and it's like, I don't want to do that. Well, Saul and Barnabas are teaching us that it's very important to have a willing heart, to be open, to be available, to, to learn new things and do new things. And so that's what they did. Now, <laughs> check this out. They went, they got on the boat, they sailed down to Cyprus, and they had some success. But they also ran into harsh opposition. Two times they had uh, uh, an individual that was learning about Jesus, wanted to learn more about Jesus, and there was a magician or a sorcerer, a false prophet is what they were called in that day. And they were saying, no, 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 you don't want to learn about this Jesus. And so Saul had to shut him down, and that's what he did, made him blind. And then this government official did receive Jesus. And then they went and teach, they taught in the synagogue, taught the Jews about the goodness of the Lord, and many people came, and they were all excited, and they even were so excited, said, come on back next week, come to church next week and tell us some more about Jesus. And they came back the next week, and almost the entire city had come out to hear about Saul and Barnabas and what they had to say about Jesus. And they were, they were telling people that Jesus loves them, that Jesus forgives their sin, and that they don't have any guilt when they believe in Jesus for their sin. And that was contrary to them, the Jews. It seemed to be contrary to the law that they knew. So they were excited to learn more about it. But there were some Jewish leaders that were jealous and were not excited. So they stirred people up to stand against and say false things against Saul and Barnabas. It even got so bad that Saul and Barnabas were like, okay, you know what? You don't want to believe in my Jesus? That's fine. I'm going <laughs> to I'm done with you all. And if you don't want to receive Jesus, I'm going to tell the Gentiles who weren't part of the church as 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 as, as well received in the church. So they went outside the church, outside the synagogue and told the Gentiles about Jesus and they were excited to know about Jesus. Sometimes the opposition that we face can be an opportunity for somebody else and that's what happened. So all we saw was Saul and Barnabas who were open and available to follow where the Lord would have them to go 
and amazing things happen because of their faithfulness. My question to you as I close, what are you going to do the next time someone who is responsible for your learning, your guidance, when they ask you to do something, what are you going to do? Are you going to have a willing heart and say, yes, I'll go, yes, I'll do it? Or are you going to be like I was early in the video? Nah, I think not. God can do amazing things with a willing heart. Trust the Lord and follow. Amen.